here's this lady. Mm-hmm. And she got arrested for a rental scam. So if you own a house, you don't live there, but you own a house and you have it on the market for sale, be careful. Because you got people who go on the website, they see it, they scout if the house is, is inhibited, and then they go, okay, nobody lives here. I'm going to rent it out to somebody, wow. pretending that I own the house. Wow. So they're going to give me, and I'm going to give them such a cheap rate. They can't say no. They can't say no. Take a look at this story out of Henry County. Henry County. So <clears throat> there's a place next to the Kroger. It used to be a, um, like a Walgreens or whatever. Okay. Wait, well, yeah, I think you're talking about it. Yeah. 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 So did you hear about that? The used to be the Walgreens by the Kroger. On Madison? Yeah. And now it's just sitting empty? Yeah, yeah my friend lives there. Yeah, yeah. in the area, yeah. Okay. They, they made it an event space? Yeah, yeah. But, an event space. Yeah. 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 But supposedly, she was illegally renting that. What? Yeah. Yeah. And the person that was doing it, I think, got arrested. This was on Clarksville Now. There was, like, a big story uh -huh. about it. And now it's sitting empty again. And uh -huh. I am so curious about it. Like, how right. does somebody... Like get access to the building, right? And then stay in the building because like there's electricity, there's water, like yep. all of these things that you That's have insane. to. I know. I, I never knew that. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna yeah. find out. Yeah, I was like, well, maybe it's this lady, and she moved into houses after after the business part didn't it's work. It's WKRN. <laughs> it is no secret scammers are everywhere when it comes to looking. Look for at that rent. dress. <laughs> Haley Wegg is. They love this this new style. They're pushing this hard, this this 80s couch pattern. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's very in. It is no secret scammers are everywhere when it comes to looking for rental properties online, but it is rare that you ever hear about someone actually getting arrested for doing it. That's what happened, though, in Henry County, where deputies say a woman took a house for sale and advertised it as her own rental property on Facebook. News 2's Nikki McGee has more from yeah, a victim. How'd get the keys? Hey, I don't know. Where this is why? happening way too Here much. Here is President uh, Melissa Bennett is accused of trying to make money off of a home that wasn't even hers this two better i'm glad they let her keep her purple glasses on for the mug shot oh yeah of course <laughs> it almost looks like someone went into microsoft paint and drew them on <laughs> even hers. This two-bedroom house on Highway 69 North really is for sale, but for Heather LeVake, scrolling through Facebook, it Chris. looked like a beacon of hope with a rent price that could have saved her $400 a month. This seemed a little bit different because it had a phone number on it. and This is amazing. Where she lives now has a vending machine. <laughs> I think Whoa. she's in an office. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought her new house had a vending machine. <laughs> Your rent would grow up by like 400 months because of that? If I was renting out a house, I would put a vending machine in. Charge like 200 more a month? Dude, if you have a bunch of kids, it would get be, a vending machine and make them pay for their snacks. It would True. be. That's a great <laughs> right? idea. Yeah. Right? I was going to put my streaky underwear <laughs> in there like they do in Japan. But no, you have a better idea. Um, That's so gross. There was pictures <laughs> of the inside of the house. It just it seemed more real to me. And at first, everything seemed to be going well. I love they that sent me a link area. to my mm -hmm. email to fill out the application, and I clicked on the link. They had a spot where you upload your ID and everything. And also a spot to make a $60 application fee, which Heather paid. However, after being asked for the first month's rent without being able to see the property, oh. Heather took the... She didn't do the I have the keys stuff. Mm. She never even got in the house. Mm. Oh, uh, okay. So she could be taking lots of people's first month's That's rents right. and then piecing out. Wow. First probably, month's rent without being people. able to mm -hmm. see the property. Heather took the hint. It made me sick to my stomach that I had already sent someone money for no reason. Mm -hmm. It's a scam realtor Hayden Smith in East Tennessee is all too familiar with. Last April, he got a call from a very angry tenant trying to move in to one of his listings. She called me and was like, hey, you know, can you come get your sign out of my yard? And I was like, <laughs> hey, you know, with, with all due respect, I don't I don't know who you are. He's glad to hear about an actual arrest as the victim in his case is still out $1,500. Uh. The lady that got scammed here actually filled out the whole thing, gave her a social social <gasps> security. Oh, then they could scam you even further down the road because they have all your identity. Yeah. Uh, how does this put it on like the dark web or something? And then uh -huh. how does this junior in high school own a house? <laughs> <laughs> right. Security number um, and everything to this person, and we still that have no clue who that person is. Right, um, we just know that they're overseas.
Smith says rental scams are on the rise in Tennessee with so many people moving here. He warns everyone yeah. to yeah. always view listings in person, don't give out too much personal info online, and for agents, drive by your listings frequently. Mm-hmm. Nikki McGee. That's right. New- Listen to Nikki McGee. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's going to be there's gonna be scams everywhere you go, which is uh, the scams have existed for like hundreds and thousands of not hundreds of thousands like thousands of years, right? That's right. So, like where we're going now, where everything's digital, it's like we've gone in a circle pretty much from where it started. It's 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 evil. It's evil. It is, it, yeah. It's theft. It's such a big mm-hmm. industry too. Like that, that's on that steel. And the mm-hmm. cost the cost of doing it is so low and the rewards are just so profitable it's it's, it's absurd. And the opportunity is just oh, like 100%. what you're saying mm-hmm. is yeah. just more available out there. Like take the uh when you go to the gas station put your card in the thing mm-hmm. and you got to worry about if there's a card reader in there. Right. right. Yeah, I've seen you that. You know I've what I mean? That, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But uh but I agree with Nikki McGee, uh, you should do drive-bys. Mhm. Right. Shoot up the house. <laughs> I, I totally agree with her. <laughs> oh on my this. Gosh. Listen to how she uh how she uh, The sang- house is very pink. How she sends off. She, she I'm Nikki have... McGee. News too. <laughs> it's a little much. And don't give out too much personal info yeah. online. And for agents, drive by your listings frequently. Bang, bang, bang. Nikki McGee. News too. News Smith says two. he's seen scammers go as far. News too. It's a good pause. She's aging gracefully. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> just like any older people, just make sure you're educating them on scams because... Oh, they're, they're, yeah, that's, they're where, the, that's, where, that's yeah. where they get the money. That's they're where the they're easiest targets because yeah. they are not keeping up. It's because they're, they're too kind, honestly, and people know that. Or is picking locks on They're, they're, on they're like, yeah. Yeah. they're used to inside. people being honest. Honest, yeah. 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 Well, like, gr- greed talks, like money talks. Yeah. Yeah. The sad part is is that the people uh, they target is Edley, right, right, yeah. Justin, right? Yeah. More trusting, true. Yeah. All right, so there you go. Watch out. And yeah. It's only gonna get worse, by the way. So, I, I would do. I would send the application fee after you do a walkthrough. I would too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and I would honestly. do. I would make sure it's like a legit co- company now too. It makes it really hard. Right. Yeah. And when you have to, you know, enter the house through the back window to do the walkthrough, that's not a good sign Whoa. either. Okay. Right. If you have to cr- crawl through the doggy door. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maria, <laughs> the only one that can can go through the doggy door. 